this is Piney Prepper Bill. Been working on the chicken coop. And since we've had the chickens, I've been using the pine shavings, the pine wood chips inside the coop. That was working out fine, but they were roosting for a while, and then they've been sleeping in the bottom. And now they're huddling in the corner at night. They come in during the day, they eat, they drink. I took the food out of there during the day. Well, actually, I took the food out altogether out of the coop. But they poop in the same corner at night. Every day I come out, and it, that one corner is just full of poop. It's dry, there's dust. I've been cleaning it out like every day, every other day. And it's getting, the bigger they get, the bigger the, the droppings are. So, I've been looking at different things online that are better. I've been looking at the hemp. I don't want to do the deep litter method. To me, that's just nasty. Uh, but we did find online, uh, some people were using the wood pellets. And we're going to try that. We got some from Tractor Supply. Some people I see wet them down. Other people don't. I'm going to try and not wet it down. To me, that doesn't make any sense. I want it to absorb their, their droppings. So I'm going to take this out. I'll show you what they've been doing and what I'm going to try and do. And then we're going to, I'm going to scoop out all the pine shavings and then fill it up with, hopefully, enough uh, pellets. I bought five bags, I'm hoping. And they're like six, seven dollars a bag, so that wasn't bad. What are you doing, Jack? Hey, buddy. Hey, Jack. Here's the neighbor's rooster, Jack. He's like the coolest rooster ever. Aren't you, Jack? You're a good guy. Now this is what I'm talking about. In here, they sleep in here at night. And they huddle in this corner all over here. And every day I gotta flip it. There is stuff all over. And feathers. Some of them will come up here at night. But they don't really go up on the roost until the morning, which makes no sense to me. But they'll come in here during the day and play and peck and there is poop everywhere and they scratch it up to the floor which is no big deal and that's another reason I made the coop this high it's easy to put a wheelbarrow or something in here to just I don't have to bend over I don't have to shovel it's all right here So I pretty much swept out the coop, got all the shavings and stuff out, but I did notice in the back there are some big, big hard clumps of poo. I'm going to scrape them out. Um, I'm not really wearing a dust mask, which I probably should be, but I clean their poop. Like I use the kitty litter thing, scoop, take it out, put fresh stuff in. So I'm really not dealing with a lot of poop. I, I clean it every day, just because it's always right here. I just get rid of it. Put a little bit more stuff on top. But in here, I have three roofs, a little bit different heights, but in the back I have, well I have two blink cameras in here. I got a fan in here that got turned off so we can hear. Um, the batteries went dead and I can't really get to it unless I climb in the coop. So I'm gonna lower the, put batteries in it, lower it, so if I have to, I get in a little chicken door. And uh, let me scrape the poo out of here. And before I put the fresh pellets down, we bought, I always, when I clean the coop out completely, I use this poultry protector. I spray the walls, I spray the coop, let it dry real good before I put fresh bedding in. And that keeps the mites and all that stuff down. I was going to go with sand, but sand is real heavy. Uh, when I went to get it, it was soaking wet, 
It was like 40 bucks for a whole trailer load. I went down there with the trailer, but it was soaking wet, and I didn't feel like messing around to try and get it to dry. So I went to Home Depot and Lowe's, and they don't have any except a quick creek, which says wash hands after use, may cause irritants and all this. And yeah, I don't want my chickens breathing that, so that's the wrong stuff to use. So for now, I'm going to try the bedding. I'm going to clean this, change the batteries, and put the pellets in. All right, I sprayed it, let it dry, and then we'll put the pellets in. And let's take a look at the chicks. Take a look at the chickens. Open the door. The chickens are getting big. Hey, buck, 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 chickies. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. There's one in there. And that, we're not sure. The black astralorp might be a rooster, but we are not sure. Are you a rooster? Are you a rooster? Probably not. Yeah, look. Buck, 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 buck. Hey, chicky, chicky. Hey, girl. See if I come up here. Hey, what's up here? What's up here? Hey, buck, buck, buck. Hey, buck, buck, buck. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Getting big, getting big. So I enclosed, I made their run a little bit bigger. Whoop, whoop. Got a whole bunch of chickens up here now. Got a whole bunch of chickens, huh? Buck, buck. Chicken? Chicken finger? Chicken little? Buck, buck, buck. Buck, buck. Hey, chicky, chicky. So I enclosed their run. I found these two panels of roofing for the garage. Make it a little bit bigger for them out here. Got that from Tractor Supply. They had like uh, 50 buckets and no lids. I had to go store to store to store to find a lid. And yeah, originally this was on an angle to get the chickens off. But then I figured I made it flat and I'm gonna put shelves up here for their food and the treats and you know, all the cleaning supplies. The chickens at night, I couldn't find them. Two nights in a row. They were out here. Well, there was three chickens were out here on top of the feed in the dark. All the other chickens were inside sleeping. But three of them were out here. They knocked the feed over, broke open. Was... So I took all the stuff off. The next night, there was no chickens inside. I'm out here at 10 o'clock at night. All the chickens are lined up here sleeping. I had to pick them up one by one and put them in the door. So I put a cabinet out here to keep the sprays and the food and stuff like that. I just put this on here to keep them from, I don't care if they go up there, but if they go up there at night and I gotta chase them, that's a problem. They got plenty of roofs. I'll put a swing up here for them that they swing on sometimes. They got, whoops, they got plenty of things to go on. But I have this cabinet laying out in the garage with a bunch of stuff in it. I painted it, I stuck it out here 
to keep their extra water container, their grit, their spray. I got their mealworms, different feed in here. So it's easy to get. A lot of stuff I kept going out in the house or in the house, out to the garage. And if you leave it out here, the chickens will get in it or a raccoon. So everything's this is this keeps the rain out. We had a rainstorm and it blew like every direction. Everything was soaking wet. Their feed was wet. So I put this roof up and it keeps them keeps them contained, keeps them happy. For most of the time, I stick this. We've had a heat wave. Can you see that chicken in there? For three weeks in a row, we've had like a heat wave. High 80s with high humidity, then it was 90s. We had 105, 107, 111. And then you would have one night where it was like 89. Sweat, it was so hot, so humid. The flies would get bit like crazy out here. But the chickens, being as young as they are, they were panting, they were drinking, they, they didn't look real good. And you know, I'm doing stuff online and they're saying that you know young chickens can't really regulate their temperatures right and that they they can die of heat stroke. They can deal with the hard winter better than they can deal with you know real bad heat. So doing stuff online, I mean I was I was freezing cups of water, um, jugs of water, sticking them in water, I was filling, giving them like ice cold water two three times a day I was taking the hose and spraying cold water out here in the run and because they were all huddled even though it was hot it was like 105 degrees they're huddled in a corner on top of each other which made no sense I take the hose I spray out here they all come running out they're digging through the stuff and I, they cool off through their feet so I was watching a video somebody was talking about taking these you know, any kind of container or a tray, put cold water in it, but chickens can't really swim. They can actually flip over and drown. So you just put a couple inches in it. I put some ice, like a, like bottled water or like iced tea, like a half gallon iced tea, freezing that, putting that in there. What are you pecking at my feet? Look at this. You're kind of pecking at my legs. Pecking at my legs. So that helped a lot. The chickens will climb on there, they'll drink. We've been giving them watermelon. They love watermelon. They don't like bananas at all. Gave them lettuce, a head of lettuce, eh. Gave them cucumber, eh. But they love watermelon. So the coop should be dry now. And I will start putting the pellets in it and we'll see what happens. The humidity is so high, it's so hot out. So, got rid of all the pine shavings, swept it all out, scraped up all the hard poo, 
sprayed it with the coop spray poultry spray or whatever let it sit for like an hour or two put in four bags of this I I seen a couple people they wet the bags and then put them in there I don't know what purpose that serves I don't know to me you want it to absorb the poo and the urine and if it's dry it'll absorb more if you wet it and stick it in there it'll expand you'll use less but then it's it's not gonna absorb anymore I don't think that's just my opinion but hopefully this works so it's an easy clean I use one of these hopefully this will work pick up some of this stuff for this I might this is too big. I might have to put some screen on that. Uh, like the scoop, scoopy doop, wire netting stuff. So I'll see how this works. And that's what I got for now. I'm going to put this stuff away and get in the freaking air conditioning. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.